Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, OGA Outdoors. And how quickly it changes. Last week we were in the teens, ice, and about six inches of snow. This week we've already been up to the 70s twice, and I'm dodging thunderstorms today. But my firewood inventory is getting low, so I'm gonna have to get back here and cut some trees on my own property. I've got a couple leads on a couple tree service guys, but they probably won't get to me for a while. So I gotta get some stuff on the ground and get it cut up so it can be seasoning. But like always, I, this is not a how-to video. I'm just cutting trees the way I do it. It's just purely for entertainment. So come along today and we'll see what we can get done. Alright, first one's down. the tree down where I wanted it to go I cut the stump up 16 inches off the ground so I didn't have to get out on the right on the ground normally I get down on the ground and cut them off level with the ground so I don't have to worry about cutting the stump but a little bit bigger tree so I thought I'd cut it up higher where I was, didn't have to bend over so much so I've cut it in log lengths got more to follow on that I'm gonna see if I can get it out of here in log lengths and cut it back up at the log yard
Yeah, so this is kind of my plan. You can see I'm cut them in log lengths. As long as I can cut them and still get them out of here. Out my trail. I got like six out of this one. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up this time. The skies are darkening up again. This last tree fell right between those two cherry trees over there. They're on my hit list as well. I guess I gotta work them down, you know, one at a time and get them to fall toward the openings. It's pretty, still pretty grown up back here and they all got vines on them and are twisted up, but got quite a few good oaks and cherries back here on the back, but it'll be enough to get a good start on the inventory for this fall. I'm gonna try to get them out here in log lengths and see if I can get them worked up up, up at the house and try something new. But anyway, like always, if you like my videos, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit the notification icon so you know when I put out new videos. Like always, I'm going to catch you on the next one. And I thank you for watching.